Hi everybody, this is Ray the Video Guy, and in this series of videos, I'm going to go over all the features and benefits of Explaindio Video Creator. Now, if you're not familiar with Explaindio, what it essentially is, is a video creation tool that allows you to create explainer-style videos, import your own video into the projects, and also do whiteboard animations all in one easy to use product. Now as you can see here this is the main screen for Explaindio and across the top you have open project, create project, save, save as, preview, audio, create video, and import. On the right hand side you have support, marketplace, and an account button. And if you're not registered yet you'll have a button here that allows you to register the product. Across here, this is going to be your timeline, and this is where you add slides. And down here is the edit box where you will make edits to your animations. And of course, over here, this is the palette where it's going to show you all of your animations live and in real time. So let's start off by creating a slide-based product. All we have to do is create new project, give it a name, such in this case as test. And then when we're ready, we're gonna hit the plus button and you'll notice that a pop-up comes up that says add animated slide from collection, create new sketch scene, or add sketch scene from personal library. This is where you'll decide whether this first frame is going to be an animation or it's going to be a whiteboard animation. So in this case, we're actually going to choose animated slide from collection. And you'll see there's a whole bunch of collections in here. Now I'll have more than you do because I've got a lot of beta collections and things that I've imported. But all we have to do is find one that we like, and if we bring one up here, you can see that it shows you all the different slides, okay? And you can choose from all sorts of different ones in here, all different styles, Okay, so this one here actually allows you to do a few different things with photos. So we're actually going to use this one here. Now, if you come down here, you'll notice that you can cancel to get out of this box. You can add a single, which will bring in whatever slide is selected here. Or you can add pack. And what this does is this allows you to bring in all of these slides, which is great if you're building off of a full template. So if this particular one has everything you need all in order and ready to go, you can have a nearly completed video just by simply hitting add pack, which is what we're going to do in this case. Now we add pack, you'll see that it brings in all of the different slides. And if you want to duplicate any of these, you can, or you can delete any that you don't need for your particular situation. So let's start off and learn how to edit our slides. Let's start with slide number one, which you can see goes on for five seconds. And you can see it brings in your picture, your description. Okay, so if we want to change that, all we're going to do is come into the edit area. We're going to hit text, and we're just going to choose the text that we want from our text units here. We're just gonna change the text to whatever we want it to be. So we might say, check out my image. Now you might be saying, what image? Well, if you look over here in the editing area, you'll see that there's a few different options that we can choose from. Text, image, video, animation, and outline. So let's click on the image here. Now in the same area where we had the text areas, we will now have image areas, and you can see we have a background image, and we have an image area number one. Now, image area number one will allow you to bring an image into the main portion of the slide here. If you want to go over to the video section, you'll see that it says at this time, this slide does not support video. If we're using a slide that allows video, you'd be able to bring in a video as well. So we're just going to choose an image here from the gallery. And you can see that inside here, there's all sorts of different images that you can choose from. These are SWFs. And of course, if you want to add your own images, you can simply add image over here. You can also hit get more images to go to the get to the uh, marketplace and purchase. In this case, I'm going to close this down and I'm actually going to come back and I'm going to hit browse. Now by browsing, I can actually bring in my own images. So we're just going to find an image on here to bring in. Okay, so I've got a bunch of business images here and we're just going to pick one of these here. We'll pick this one here. We'll hit open and you'll see that image pops into here. And now you'll see how this slide actually plays out for us. Okay, now we can also come in and into the animation area and we can make some changes here as well. If we turn on animation number one, you're gonna see that the background changes to an animated background. 
and we can actually go through all the different animated background scenes to see which one makes sense for us. Okay, so maybe we like snow. So maybe this is about business in the winter, so we'll ch choose the snow one. Animated area number two allows you to add animated elements such as this arrow here, and we can actually choose different kinds. Okay, and that just gives you some more options to add some things to this. We're going to turn that one off for now. And now we're going to go into the outline area. Uh, the outline area, you can see this has to do with the background here. And we can offset that background if we need to. Now, you're not going to be able to see too much of the offset here. But we can actually move this around a little bit. Again, you're not going to see too much. You can see that the background image is moving here. And, of course, we're going to want to put this back to zero. Whoops. But if there are elements that can be moved around, this will allow you to do that. Okay. And, of course, you can scale them as well. And again, you, you're not going to be able to see that until we get into some pretty good scales, but that allows you to blow up that background as well. And in some slide sets, you're going to have many outline areas that you can play with. So if we come back to our text area, there's some other things that we can actually do with our text here. For instance, we can change the font that we're using. Okay, so there's all sorts of different fonts in here. And when we find the font that we like, we can actually change the style of that font. Okay, and we're actually going to bring that back to this one here, the bold. And now we can actually add effects to this. So for instance, if we come down here to font effects, we can add a bloom to that. You can see it gets darker around the edges. We could add a shadow. We can also add a black clone shift, so that adds a, a black drop beneath it. We can do a clone of two pixels, so now you can see the black drop is a little bit further. And of course, if we keep going down here, you can see we can do a white clone, white clone shift of two, and we can do a blur, okay? So all of these different effects are in here. Now I happen to like for this one, I like the black shift two, so we're gonna leave it at that. So as you can see, there's lots of different options on what you can do using Explaindio for these slide style videos. And of course, you can learn more in-depth detail by checking out the videos below, which will give you explicit instructions on how to use all the features inside Explaindio. But of course, creating these slide videos is only part of what makes Explaindio great. The other great thing that Explaindio can do is it can create whiteboard animations. So if you click Create New Scene, you'll see that you get a blank canvas here, and at the bottom you've got Add Image, Add Text, or Close Canvas. And if we just quickly add some text here, and we hit play, you'll be able to see exactly what this does. Okay, so that's how easy it is to very quickly create these whiteboard videos. And of course, we're going to want to do more than this, so maybe we're going to stretch this out. We're going to add an image here, and we've got a huge library of images. So we could, uh, oh, let's see, we could grab uh, this one here. Maybe we'll move our text up here put this here and maybe we'll add another image here we'll add uh, you know something like this and you can see very quickly now if we hit preview again Okay, you can see how quickly you can build these animations like this. But the great thing about this is you can do a lot more than just create these types of animations because there's a lot more to it. If we click on our text here, you can see that once again, you can choose your fonts, you can choose your sizes, you can choose your effects. Okay, so all of those little things, some of them you're not going to be able to see on this particular paper, but you can see that you can add these little effects to your videos here. Okay, same as before, and we're going to switch this back to no effects, and of course you can change the size of that right from here as well, and you can change the style, okay, and you can actually move thing, do things like move it on top, move it onto the bottom, move it up, move it down, delete it, or create a new scene. Now if we click on our arrow, you'll see that we've got a whole bunch of different options here, such as be able to flip it, okay, flip it horizontally. Move it to the top, move it to the bottom, move it up, move it down, delete it, or new scene. And same for our little graphic drawing here as well. And of course, you can still move these around as much as you'd like here. 
Once you've set up your basic scene as you like it here, you can actually hit Close Canvas, and you'll see it goes back to a traditional layout. Now you'll notice that over on the left-hand side, you've still got all of your tabs here, but they're a little bit different. Okay, so now you've got the ability to make all sorts of changes, and depending upon which slide you choose, you'll be able to affect that particular slide. And as you can see here, image versus text. So he knows this is text here. And we can actually come in here and we can export the scene. We can open the canvas. We can remove, we can browse, or we can go to the gallery. Okay. Now you can also do a background video, which can be an MP4 or an FLV. And this is what makes things kind of unique here. Because if we hit browse, we can actually choose a video as a background. And you'll see now it's going to draw all of our stuff over the actual video, which of course with this particular video doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but you get the idea. Okay, so you can actually add a video to this. And of course, if you decide you don't like it, because like, like in this particular case, it doesn't look very good, we can actually hit remove and go back to our white canvas. Now, if you come over to each of these slides here and we hit image, you can see that you can actually still affect the images that are in here. So for instance, we could flip this vertically, okay? Or horizontally, or vertically again, or horizontally again. And you get the idea. So you can still affect things in here, but you can also come into the slide area and you can draw on a previous slide if you've got slides in here. You can also do actions before and actions after. So for instance, in the before action, you can override the sketch line color here if you wanted to. So what we would do is we could choose a color. And now you can see we've changed that to a green while it's drawing. Okay, you can have a delay before, during, or after. You can also set it so that instead of sketching by hand, you could just do sketching, so there's no hand. You can do things like fade-ins. Okay, you can do things like fly-ins. Okay, and you can do in fly-in by hand, where a hand brings in that piece. Okay, and you can of course change the timing for any of that as well. Now you can also set the type of hand that you want by clicking the set hand button. And you can see there's all sorts of different hands that you can choose to do this. So we could choose, let's say this one here. And now when we play this slide, you see it's brought in by that particular finger. Okay, and of course if we go back to our sketch by hand, you'll see our hand comes back. And now if we hit set hand, we've got all sorts of different hands here. Now we can choose one like this, for instance, and now if we do draw under sketch, you'll see what that does. See that? It's like it's drawing from behind. So there's all sorts of amazing options that we can have inside of here. And of course, when we get to our next one, you can have a different hand and you can make all of that different if you wanted to. So there's all sorts of great options. Action after. So after it's done drawing, you can choose to do nothing like we did in this case, or you can have it fade out, fly out, fly out by hand. So if we pick fly out by hand, You'll see that once it draws the image here, a hand will come and take it away, okay? And once again, you can still set the type of hand that you want to use. So there you go. Those are the basics for using Explaindio to create slide videos, whiteboard videos, and how to use traditional video inside of your projects. Hope this was informative for you. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to visit us on Facebook and we'd be glad to answer any questions that you have. And of course, we have lots of great bonuses for anybody who purchases Explaindio through our link. So be sure to check the bonuses below because we've got lots of extra drawings, animations, and a whole bunch of other stuff to make your videos even better.